Hi, welcome to another video. Google has launched some new models and updates. Let's talk about them, and we'll also try out these new models. There are two updated production-ready Gemini models. One is the Gemini 1.5 Pro 2 model, and the second is the Gemini 1.5 Flash 2 model. Apart from this, the price for the Gemini 1.5 Pro has been reduced by about 50%, which is pretty insane. There are also new higher rate limits for both Gemini 1.5 Pro and Flash, which is good. And on top of that, all the models are now twice as fast and have three times lower latency, which is impressive. These new models are built on the experimental models that were launched a little while back. They are now available through their API and AI studio. Now, let's look at the exact performance upgrades. There's about a 7% increase in MMLU Pro. Meanwhile, the math and hidden math benchmarks show a considerable 20% improvement. For vision and code use cases, both models also perform better, with improvements ranging from 2 to 7%, which is great. Looking at the exact benchmarks, you can see there have been significant improvements in scores. In the MMLU Pro scores, there's about an 8% improvement, while in coding, there's a 2% improvement. But in the math benchmark, the performance is remarkable. The Flash model now reaches around 77.9% in the benchmarks, which is about a 23% increase, and that's pretty cool to see. The Pro model shows similar improvements. In reasoning, it's exciting to see some solid improvements. In multimodal tasks, the results are also promising. Apart from this, the models are now insanely cheaper. The Pro model now costs only $1.25 for input and $2.50 for output. This is really cool. However, this price will only be applicable from October 1st. I'm not sure why, but it's fine, and you can also use it with prompt catching, which should further reduce the cost. Additionally, the latency of these models has decreased, meaning they're much faster now. There's also a new Flash 8B experimental model, an upgrade over the previous experimental 8B model. All of these models are available now on Google AI Studio to try out. So, Let's try them out and see how they perform. These are the 13 questions I'm going to test them against. Let's get started. The first question is, what is the capital city of the country whose name ends with Laia? The answer should be Canberra or any country capital that rhymes with Laia. Let's send it and see. Here are the answers from all three. The pro and flash are correct while Flash 8B is incorrect. Let's mark them. The next question is, what is the number that rhymes with the word we use to describe a tall plant? The answer should be three. Let's send it and see. Here are the answers. Pro is correct, Flash is incorrect, but Flash 8B is correct. Interesting. Let's mark them. The next question is, there are five people in a house, A, B, C, D, and E. A is watching TV with B, D is sleeping, B is eating a sandwich, and E is playing table tennis. Suddenly, a call comes on the telephone, and B leaves the room to answer the call. What is C doing? The answer should be that we cannot tell what C is doing because it isn't mentioned. Let's send it and see. Here are the answers, and all of them are correct. So, that's a pass for all. The next question is, name an English adjective of Latin origin that begins and ends with the same letter, has 11 letters in total, and for which all vowels are ordered alphabetically. An answer could be something like transparent. Let's send it and see. Here are their answers, and none of them are correct. So, that's a fail for all. Let's mark them. Now, the next question is, is 3,307 a prime number? The answer should be yes. Let's send it and check. 
Here are the answers, and all of them are correct. Let's mark them as a pass as well. Next question. I have two apples. Then, I buy two more. I bake a pie with two of the apples. After eating half of the pie, how many apples do I have left? The answer should be two. Let's send it and check. Here are the answers, and all of them are correct. So, all models pass. The next question is, Sally is a girl. She has three brothers. Each of her brothers has the same two sisters. How many sisters does Sally have? The answer should be one. Let's send it over. Here are the answers. Pro and Flash are correct, while Flash 8B is incorrect. Let's mark them. Now, the next question is, if a regular hexagon has a short diagonal of 64, what is its long diagonal? The answer should be 73.9. Let's send it and see. Here are the answers. The pro model first gave the correct equation, then I asked for the exact integer, and it gave the correct answer. So, that's a pass. The others are incorrect, so they fail. Let's mark them. Now, on to the coding questions. Let's start. The first one is, create an HTML page with a button that explodes confetti when clicked. You can use CSS and JS as well. Let's send it and see. Here's the code from all of them. Let's preview the pro model first. It works fine, though it's not the best. But this is a pass. Next, here's the flash model preview. This actually works better than pro, so it's also a pass. Now, here's the flash 8B preview. It kind of works, but not perfectly. Still, I'll give it a pass. The next question is, create a Python program that prints the next X leap years based on user input. Let's send it and check. Here's the code from all of them. Let's run the pro model first. It works well, so it's a pass. The flash model also works well. Lastly, the flash 8B model works well too. So they all pass. Next is, generate the SVG code for a butterfly. Let's send it and see. Here's the generation from Pro Model, and it doesn't look like a butterfly. So, that's a fail. Next, Flash Model's generation doesn't look like a butterfly either. Flash 8B also fails. So, all fail. The next question is, create a landing page for an AI company. The landing page should have four sections, header, banner, features, and contact us. Make it sleek and modern using HTML, CSS, and JS. Let's send it and check. Here's the pro model's answer, and it looks really good. This is one of the best generations I've seen, so it's a pass. Here's the flash preview, and it looks good as well. The flash 8B preview is also correct, so that's a pass for all. Now, the last question is, Write a game of life in Python that works in the terminal. Let's send it and check. Here's the code from all of them. Let's run them one by one. Pro works fine. Flash works well. And Flash 8B works well too. So, all of them pass. Now, here's the final chart. You can see that Pro fails in just two questions. Flash fails in four questions. And Flash 8B fails in five questions which is still pretty good. Pro is an excellent model, and it's much cheaper now. Flash is also very good. I especially like the free tier of Flash, as it works well with good rate limits. Overall, I think Gemini models are really good, and I like this launch better than the O1 model launch because these are more practical and useful. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the Join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.